So Despicable Me 2, this is the first of the two big animations of 2013, with the other course being Monsters University. Which one's better? I can't wait to find out. This is currently still smashing the box office both here and in the US, outperforming its main competition The Lone Ranger and Now You See Me. Interestingly enough, Monsters University came out a full two weeks before this did in the States, and it's nearly caught up already. So that's the big animation fight of the summer. One's a prequel, one's a sequel. This one follows on from the events of Despicable Me. Steve Carell's spindly Gru has now went from super villain to super dad to the three kids that he adopted in the first one, and he's turned his attention from moon stealing to jam and jelly making. He's a legitimate businessman now. The film has two core storylines. The first follows Gru, a new partner, Lucy Wilde, played by Kristen Wiig, who returns from the first one as a new character with the exact same voice, as they go on a quest to find a stolen serum that has the power to turn anyone that drinks it into a ravenous monster. The plot is simple enough that little kids aren't going to be asking, why is he doing that, every two seconds, which can get really annoying to people around him. The second shows Gru trying to be a good father to the three girls and dealing with some of the complications that come with little girls growing up. It's a real change for the character of Gru. The villain with the heart of gold thing worked quite well in the first, and it's nice to see how this has developed over time. Honestly, I preferred him in the first film. He was so deliciously evil, and it made for a lot of laughs. Who can forget when he makes the balloon doggy for the little boy, and then immediately pops it? But all the evilness has been replaced with jam and princess dresses, but he's still entirely lovable and absolutely hilarious, so it's all good. But let's face it, it's all about the minions. Who doesn't love these little guys? Look! As well as helping to shift a mountain of merchandise, these guys were key to the success of the first movie and in securing a sequel. The powers that be have recognised the popularity and given them a much more prominent role in this film ahead of their own front and centre spin-off next year entitled, imaginatively enough, Minions. From the very beginning, like literally from the opening Universal logo, these gibberish talking little yellow joy magnets completely steal the show from right under Gru's ridiculously long nose. Kids and adults alike will be left holding their sides every time they're on the screen, and it's hard to think of any animated character of recent years as being anywhere near as delightful or as endearing as these guys. I will say this though, the standout character for me was the new guy, El Macho. Everything he says or does is completely ridiculous and utterly hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to admit it, but Despicable Me too is my First 5 out of 5. I don't care how childish or unsophisticated this makes me seem, I laugh my ass off from start to finish. The plot may be incredibly simple with no twists or even a shred of unpredictability, but the characters in it are brilliant and the jokes come so fast that you don't have time to think about it before the next one comes along. Although, to be fair, most of the jokes are about farts, so you don't really have to do that much thinking. And I love fart jokes. It does what any animation film should do. Parents and kids alike will have a great time watching it, and you'll leave with a huge grin on your face. Unless you don't like that kind of thing, in which case you can get shot with Nefario's fart gun. Monsters University has its work cut out. Alright, thank you so much for watching my review of Despicable Me 2, I hope you liked it. Did you see the film? Do you agree with my 5 out of 5 review? Do you think Monsters University will be a lot better? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or anything else you've got. Please help me out a bit by, you know, spreading the word about my channel and my reviews. Um, I've got a lot more videos coming up soon that aren't just reviews, so please stick around, please subscribe. I'll put a little box at the top here so you can subscribe to my channel. And hopefully, there should be little videos appearing on your screen right now that you can click on to see my most recent reviews. So please stick around and I'll see you next time.